Greetings, beloved friends. I'm Reverend Kira with Unity Bay Area Houston here in League City, Texas. And today we're gonna to talk about authentic positivity. What do you mean authentic positivity? You know, throughout my life, I was often called a Pollyanna and I know others that have had the same kind of experience because we've often been um, uh, skeptical or cynical about uh, positive messages and trusting them because the truth is we have experiences that are all kinds of different experiences in life. We have the good, the bad, and the challenging and those things that you know are always here to teach and, and allow us to grow. And yet we also have the option to be authentic with positivity. See, I believe that Pollyanna was a really good thing. <laughs> she recognized that she could bring positivity even in the most challenging of circumstances and that we need that kind of uplift and encouragement and positivity in our own being. And the truth is we have the opportunity to learn how is it to be authentic with our inner positivity and begin to move our own consciousness in a way that we see the good immediately. We see and we find that there is an incredible silver lining to every circumstance and situation. There's something to be gained, to be learned, to grow through. Now, does it mean it's easy? No. Does it mean that we don't have grief? No. Of course we have grief, we have challenge. We have opportunity, but there is something in every circumstance available to us. And we get to choose how do we perceive the moment that we're in, how we perceive and experience and express that positivity in our thoughts and our feelings and in our actions transforms what our experience actually is. Now, some will say, fake it till you make it, you know, and I've done that in my life at times. But what I've learned even through that is that sometimes when I give myself the positive and I continue to reinforce the positive messages, that I will transform my understanding and begin to realize I'm no longer faking it. I now am released from the old energies, the vibrations of dark or frustration or anger or hurt or feeling separate from God, which is ultimately what we're feeling, that we're not trusting the circumstance and the situation to be working for our good, to be working on our behalf. And yet what we are told over and over again is that, you know, you know, buckle up and bear it. And we don't mean to not acknowledge and accept what is in the moment because in the acceptance comes the freedom to find a new way of being with the situation. Today, I was communicating with a dear friend of mine in Florida about the hurricane and what is happening for her in Naples right now. And she's in the midst of this uh, incredible wind and everything. And she started talking about you know, how her tree, her live oak was bent over sideways and pirouetting and how she was hearing at the same time the bell that she had forgotten, her unity bell that she'd forgotten to take out of her tree. She could hear it and who knew it was a touchstone in that moment of remembering and, and the chimes on her lanai that were, were, were tingling and ringing and the realization that she had these incredible hurricane windows. And so it wasn't nearly as loud as it might have been and she was finding the good and she was recognizing that she was safe in her home and her, her dog was there with her snuggling up against her. And she felt the beauty and the wonder of that moment, even as what some would be in a catastrophic way, claiming the power of the storm and the fears about losing outage or all the other things that can occur in the midst of this. Now, we don't deny we're in the midst of that situation and we do what's necessary to create safety. We do that in everyday life. We do everything we know to walk our walk, do our part to be present here and now. But this is that old 
adage of the difference between a, a realist and an idealist, you know, the optimist or the pessimist. And what I have found in my own journey, there's an inner joy. I, you know that my favorite quote, I've spoken it before from uh, Pierre de Teilhard de Chardin, is that joy is the infallible sign of the presence of God. See, when we know the presence of God, we can allow ourselves to be joyful, even in the midst of difficult circumstances. I won't say that's always easy. Sometimes we have to dig deep to find God's presence right here, to look for the good, to experience our blessings and give thanks for those. But whenever we're looking at what's missing or we're looking for what's wrong, we will find something that we can focus upon. But we know in unity, our third unity principle is that which we focus on expands. That which we give our life energy to then becomes that which is our reality. So I want to invite us not to a fake positivity, not to be all yeah, when there's nothing to be there or there's no real essence of that. But what is an authentic thing in the moment that you can give thanks for? that you can notice right now, that you can experience that there's a greater power within you than within the world. I mean, this is the teaching of our master way shower, Jesus. And so we're gonna talk more about this on Sunday and we would love to have you come join us. And that's at 10.30 a.m. at 1911 Highway 3 South in Leak City, Texas, or join us online at Unity Bay Area, Houston on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel. I'm gonna talk one more time for a moment about our garage sale. We have some of the most amazing furniture I've ever seen. We have woodworking tools. We have art that is incredible, some incredible contemporary art uh, that is very high end. We have a uh, beautiful, clothing. We have amazing house decor. We have some incredible things in our garage sale this year that are above and beyond, and we hope you'll come out and join us. We have um, so much to offer, and we hope you'll come, and if you haven't brought your things, bring them by tomorrow. We'll be uh, accepting through tomorrow and then setting thing, everything up. We start at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning, and this again is at 1911 Highway 3 South, and we've been blessed with incredible weather this week. We're starting to feel the fall uh, weather, and it's beautiful out, and it'll be a beautiful day to come and find your own treasures at our garage sale on Saturday, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Get there early, because it is a, really an incredibly uh, powerful uh, a lot of donations that we've received and want you to also have the gift and the goodness that is available to you through this now, whatever way you join us. <coughs> Excuse me. We know that we're grateful for each one of you and even for sneezes, <laughs> the ways that the universe releases through us. And we say thank you. Thank you, God, and blessings to each one of you. Have a great week. See you Saturday and Sunday, we hope.